Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Keeper RL episode three for this series. And last time we left off, I had gone through and added this whole library section and everything over here. We're acquiring mana at an extremely fast rate. Um, we had, uh, let's see, let's go like this. So we had, uh, a shortage with copper is what I'm trying to say. We had a shortage with copper, and so we were going through mining some of this copper down here, and uh, I'm going to have to go through and get some of this copper over here and whatnot as well. But, yeah, so that's pretty much what we're doing. Now, a couple of you, uh, two episodes ago, I asked if anybody wanted to uh, be a character in the game to just drop their names and let me know, and so I got a, a couple of replies. Uh, some of them I haven't gotten characters yet to name them but other people who applied I do have characters that I can actually name so we're going to go through and do that really quickly right now I won't waste a lot of your time uh, just go through real quick and and, uh, and name these characters and so the first one we're going to do is uh, both vampires here and the first vampire is going to be Jeff so we've got Jeff the vampire and the second vampire is going to be um, Pentagon Jr. Hopefully I'm saying that. Oh, Pentagon Jr. does not fit unless I go like that. Okay, so Pentagon Jr. So hopefully I did that correctly. I spelled these, I know I spelled Jeff correctly. Hopefully I've got that one as well. So that's Pentagon Jr. there. And uh, those are our two first characters. And then we've got one more. And it's going to be a shaman. And we'll do this guy. And he's going to be Dean 2. So there we go. So we've got a couple characters already into the game, which is fantastic. I've also got a couple other names on my list as well uh, for people who want to be characters that haven't appeared yet. So if you want to be a character, please let me know down below so I can hurry up and get you added to the, the roster here. And hopefully uh, hopefully you don't die too quickly. <laughs> that's, the, that's the plan anyways, is not to have you guys die. And uh, we're getting this copper mined out, so we'll, we'll deal with this situation that's going on down here. Um... Can use the keys here to move around. Okay, so we've got lots and lots of mana, and that's something I need to address right now while I'm not doing anything else is the mana situation. What's going on here? Did I make this room too big? Was that something I did? Okay, what I can do then is I can either fill this all in or make this one bigger because uh, my OCD is going to bother me. So what I'll do is I'll actually just make this one one bigger. And then I'll make both of these places a little bit bigger. And even though that's probably somewhat overkill, um, I won't worry about it too much. Uh, it is nighttime now, so I thought about sending some minions out, but I don't really have very many minions. I do have 10 out of 10, but most of them are shamans and some goblins. I've only got two vampires and one wolf. That is not, uh, not very good at all. So the first thing I'm going to go for researching is I want to get... Um, Let's go for humanoid mutation or beast mutation. Let's go for humanoid uh, mutation, uh, which will allow us, allow us to get some uh, really messed up mutated humans going on here. All right. This room here, what was this going to be? This is going to be something. Ugh, I don't remember what now. I almost think it was going to be... An equipment room, yes. No, this is equipment. This is storage. I don't know what this room was going to be. I guess maybe it wasn't going to be anything. At least not right now. Maybe another beast layer. I've already got plenty of room there and there, though. And I can always add the beast layer, uh, add on to the beast layer and go this way. Um. Oh, a pigsty. Yes, pigsty. That that, that could be a pigsty. That'll allow us to get uh, four more minions which will be very good. Need to start laying more traps. Uh, it doesn't look like I'm really building too many traps right now from the looks of it. So that's something I need to consider. Uh, most definitely. Let's throw a door down here and get some torches up. Like so. There we Oh, no, don't do it. Ah, crap. I hate when that happens. All right. Remove construction. And um, my buddy, Dean2, showed me something really interesting, and I'll show you guys what it is right now. So I was talking about how I couldn't uh, dig through here because I couldn't fill this in. 
Oh, I can fill it in now anyways. Oh, interesting. Well, basically, last episode, or was it two episodes ago, I couldn't fill this in, so I couldn't dig this way uh, because there was no hopes of me being able to fill this in, but it looks like I can now. That So I guess it's not an issue, um, but I can still claim this as part of my fortress. So if I was to dig this hallway out here and uh, want to have these tiles, this tile appearance here, this floor uh, look like, or have this floor look like this here, I could just go into orders and then claim tile, and then I could just claim all of this as part of my dungeon. So that's something interesting and, and uh, good to know. Okay, how are we doing on copper? We're doing good on copper, but holy crap, have I let wood slack. Let's go like this. We'll get all our guys out there right now, getting rid of that wood. Just deforestation to the extreme. I feel like most of the games I play involve massive deforestation. Oh. Nope, not this. There we go. Just get all those trees. Um, Yeah, I definitely need to attract more. How's the pigsty going? Why is it not getting built? It's not getting built because I don't have wood, right? Yes, correct. So as soon as they start getting the wood from those trees, we will be able to get that pigsty up. I keep doing that. I don't mean to. And here's some more copper in here. Why don't we dig to that? So let's go like this, this here. Because uh, we do need more copper. And I only had six minions, so I've got plenty of extra mana. And I'm way ahead on research here for how early it is in the game. Uh, so let's go to sorcery, or not sorcery, I'm sorry. Uh, just right here and summon imp. And let's just drop uh, some more imps. So let's do eight, let's go nine, oop, nine, ten. There we go, and that gives us 10 imps, and I, I think I mentioned it before, every time you summon an imp, uh, it becomes more expensive uh, mana-wise to summon another imp. Now that we're getting this pigsty up, that should allow us uh, to get f four more minions as soon as they finish this. Hopefully it'll be enough for four. If not, I'll have to make the room bigger. But the pigsty will let you increase your minion count up to a maximum of plus four. And I think that's still the same. Oh, one other thing too that I forgot to mention is that these guys don't actually, and in the first episode I mentioned that they actually cost gold to have in your fortress, but that's actually not true anymore. That ended up going away in Alpha 15 and I didn't know that. So you actually don't have to pay gold to have any minions inside of your fortress, which is kind of neat. So you can, um, since there's only a certain amount of gold on the map, uh, it makes sense that it would be like that. Okay, only 13, okay, it's only 13. We want to get the full 14, so uh, just to be even, let's dig two out on each side. We can make the pig's uh, sty a little bit bigger that way, and then I'll have to rebuild those torches, but we'll be good to go with that. All right, how's everything else looking? Lots of people training. Traps, I don't believe, are getting built yet. Hopefully soon. Let's add on to this pig sty on each side here throw some torches out the night's about to be over soon i was hoping to grab some oh, no don't do it don't build it ah, i built it i was hoping to grab some uh maybe a wolf or something to go out and do some killing this night but i guess i'm not going to get to that we'll see what kind of minions we get uh, from laying this new stuff down. 14 out of 14 already. So we've got four orcs. That's awesome. We definitely needed that. So orcs are basically like your your average troops. They're pretty useful. Uh, they can get extremely powerful. Uh, in the last fortress I played, I had like level 25 orcs. And they were just insanely powerful. Okay, so that trap there, we've actually got that alarm trap set up. That's very good. So if enemies do come busting through these doors trying to get inside our fortress, they will trigger this alarm trap. And... Uh, all of our minions inside our fortress will come running down here into this big room to fight them off, which is fantastic. It's going to be very useful to have that. Um, I feel like I'm missing something. Let's get some more trees. Just keep cutting trees down. Just might as well just cut, start working our way through here and getting all these trees. Uh, since I don't have my minions doing anything else right now, it just doesn't make sense uh, to leave them sitting. I think the one thing I do want to do is I want to dig up through here. 
uh, get all this stone and then maybe turn this into a, a ritual room, right? Torture, no, ritual room, yes, which will allow you to uh, summon demons and such to your dungeon. So that's uh, very useful. It's something I want to build. So yeah, we'll put it right here. So let's get that dug out. Orc produces chain armor. So we're getting lots of equipment produced, lots of weapons and our orcs and uh, vampires and such. And our keeper himself will go up there and just uh, start equipping these himself uh, as soon as they become available. All right, so nighttime's about the end and it is about to be daytime. So it looks like we're not going to get out this time around to... Uh, kill some people but oh no we've cut down too many trees and we have summoned a tree spirit uh so if you do too much deforestation too quickly uh you'll get a tree spirit who will basically uh early game he will just mess you up luckily when they spawn they don't just make a beeline straight to your fortress they'll generally just hang around the area of the trees that you cut down so i'm just gonna stop cutting most of these trees down for now so i don't anger Oh, see, I got another one there. So that's the problem. So we've got too many now. So now we're going to have to deal with that. All right. Uh, we'll just stop cutting trees down for now. I've got plenty of wood. I definitely killed it on the trees there. Tree spirit level 35. Attack 40, defense 40. Very powerful. Just not even something I can take right now. Uh, maybe uh, if these guys continue to train at nighttime... I could gather up all my minions and go and take him, but for now, that's definitely not something that I can do. So here's what I'm going to do to get my uh, guys from uh, just sitting over here trying to get to this wood. I'm just going to forbid uh, this wood, and then they'll stop trying to go over there. There we go. We'll just leave it at that. Okay, um, and these trees over here I do not want to cut as well. Get away from the trees. Go for the, go for this stuff over here. All right. Do need to do some more exploration. There seems to be a little human town right up here. Oh, we lost our wolf to the, to the tree spirit. That's, uh, that that really sucks. Uh, yeah, there seems to be a little human. Kind of hovel up there, or hamlet or whatever. So that's something to keep in mind. That we can go up there. Uh, probably not. Let's see. It won't be. It wasn't. So not last night, but tonight. So the nighttime that's coming right now. We'll we'll try to send some guys up there and see if we can't uh, cause some trouble, cause a little bit of ruckus, earn ourselves some extra mana. Let's uh, turn this into a ritual room, like so. That might be a little big, but that's okay. Throw it door down right here get some torches and uh, we'll try to see if we can't get ourselves some demons where is our keeper going he's going to equip some stuff I'm guessing he is he's gonna pick up the medical kit there so that's good it'll be good for him to have that with him how are our orcs doing six six five five vampires 12 and 11 very good very good orc shamans are just chilling around at one they won't really uh, level up too much uh, they're just gonna basically improve their skills uh, with spells which it'll be really nice to have four shamans if um if i upgrade my sorcery high enough that it's valuable um i don't have enough mana now because i just built this massive ritual room so I'm just going to have to hold off. Okay, he's causing me more trouble than I like. But I just cannot face him right now. I'm going to have to wait till later to actually fight him. He's kind of working his way down this way too. Thinking about taking something out and going exploring. But I don't know where I would explore. I would like to go up in here. Uh, lots of supplies and such that I would like to grab. I'm really bummed out that I spawned that guy because he's definitely messing with everything. I wish these guys would just go around. Oh, they got that one over there too. Uh, I'm debating whether or not I can take him, but I really don't think I can. Oh, cave bear. Yep, we got one cave bear now. Um, let's control our cave bear real quick. I want to do something. I would like to go explore that cave up there. 
that we uh, we dug into. Oh no! Uh, no, do not want to go into the water. Cave bear will most certainly drown. Let's see if I can get past this tree spirit without him giving me any trouble. Looks like it. Yeah, so I just basically want to go up in here. I just want to see what's inside this cave up here. See if I cleared it out. Because if I did clear it out, then I could send my minions to... Go up there and grab a bunch of the stuff. Okay, that's, that's a cave full of uh, harpies, which are basically uh, like winged uh, orcs. They're orcs with wings, pretty much, and they can uh, fire bows. So they're very useful to have, and by discovering them there... That guy seems to be friendly. By discovering them there, I afforded myself the opportunity to... Um, Recruit them, and I'll kind of go over that in a second. It looks like this is all cleared out, so I can come steal all this copper and stone. Because I don't see any other enemies in here. Okay, that is the case. Alright, so let's leave control. We'll let Bear do his thing. I'm going to queue some guys up to come up here. And fetch these items. Like that, and we'll prioritize that so they come up here right away and grab all of it. There we go. And that tree spirit's still being a problem. I wonder if I got everybody together if it would be enough. Um, I'll wait a little bit longer. I'll wait for my orcs to at least reach level 10 or somewhere around there. Uh, and then we'll do that. Let's see. Do I have a, let's see, manufacturers. So we've got the workshop, the forge. All right, man is already climbing way up there again. Here, here's the, uh, here's the harpies here. So this is where I can recruit them. If I go here, I get a list of uh, all the people I've discovered in the area, as well as creatures and such. So we got a dragon and stuff that we've discovered, as well as if they're hostile, friendly, or such. And uh, the harpies are friendly, obviously. So for fifty gold, we can recruit a level four harpy, or no, for yeah, for fifty gold. Um, but I've reached my maximum uh, minion amount, so can't do that. Oh, are they fighting each other? Is that actually a thing? Could have sworn they were fighting each other. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, no way. That tree spirit killed that tree spirit. All right, so the tree spirits are not friendly with each other. That's actually kind of cool. I really like that. That is a very interesting feature. Very, very neat. Okay, let's go into our research real quick. I want to get either alchemy or jewelry. Let's go for jewelry next. I, I definitely want to get jewelry, and I got to figure out where I'm actually going to set up a jeweler, as well as finish this forge, because that's definitely bothering me. So let's go forge, and then jeweler um, can go probably somewhere up in this area or even maybe off the back here hallway jeweler to help get that stone so we can go like this and then jeweler yeah i don't see why that won't uh why that won't work that gets a jeweler there and i can make a hallway coming off here and put something else if i want to or I can go like that and add something else here if I want to. Uh, I won't do that yet, but it's a possibility. But we'll get that dug out. They're all, they're all prioritized right now to come up here and grab all this stuff. So I'll just let them do that right there. Uh, yeah, so that is the plan. I think we're going to leave off right here since we are out of time. So we... Are grabbing all these items up here. Uh, tree spirit killed the other tree spirit, so we've just got to deal with this guy now, which is good. I can actually quickly um, unforbid these, and then uh, I think we will get this jewelry up or this jeweler here, this jeweler up, and then we'll try tormenting these guys the next time it's night, which looks like it'll be next episode as well. So yep, that is going to be the plan. So please do. Leave a name down below if you would like to be a part of the playthrough as well as what character you would like to be. If you don't care, uh, just put any character and I'll throw you down on there as anything. 
And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you next time.